Okay, today I'm going to be doing a installation of the Coolance VID NX480 water block onto the NVIDIA GTX 480. Uh, I can foresee this being a two-part video. The first part of the video I'll probably be showing how to take your 480 apart and then the second part I'll show you know actually the installation of the water block. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what we want to end up with. This is what we're starting with. Okay, the first thing I'm going to go over is kind of some tools that are necessary. And this is very important. Uh, I can't stress it enough because I, I've had a sinking feeling before when I've stripped out a screw on a graphics card, a $500 graphics card. I had a 4870X2 at one time and I stripped a screw out. Uh, what you need to have is uh, good quality, small, uh, with some fine tips on Phillips head screwdrivers. I have two here. These two usually get just about any of the screws I find on graphics cards. And something else I have, it has a little, to give you uh, an advantage when you're loosening it. You don't want to use this when you're tightening the screws because you want to be able to feel how tight you're putting them. But when you loose the, loosen the screws, you need to have it. Uh, a lot of manufacturers use Loctite on their screws, and so you do not want to strip it. You do not want to strip a screw. So this allows you to put enough force down, and then you use that to turn it, and then they, they come right out. Okay? Uh, I also will have, today I'll have the single bracket to replace the, the dual bracket that comes on it, and I'm doing that so I can put, uh, since I'm putting four of these in a build, I need to put the single bracket on there so I can put an X5 and or a physics card in my system. Something else you'll need is I have a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, you'll, I, I have a better tool but I, I've lost it you know, to get the uh, hex heads out but I'll use my needle nose pliers today. I also have some alcohol wipes that I use to you know, to wipe off the residue from the previous thermal interface grease and thermal pads. And then because I'm going to be using Cool Lance's uh, thermal interface grease, it's kind of a ceramic uh, with uh, low viscosity. I got, I got this when I use VapoChill cooling for its type. It spreads the uh, thermal interface grease over the GPU, so I have that today. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's the card. Uh, what I like to do first is since I know I'm going to be changing out the uh, bracket, I'm going to go ahead and just take this bracket completely off. There's no reason to have it on there. Now, one thing that I mentioned in my previous video is I had the GTX 280 at one time. I was running three-way SLI, and I wanted to change the dual bracket to a single bracket, and it would not come off without destroying some of the card. It had a grounding plate on the back of it that went underneath the card that you had to actually rip away from the card so I never put the single bracket on it. Okay. Now remember, you don't want to strip it so you you want to put some pressure down as you turn. The uh, 4870X2 that I stripped the screw out, I had to go to a specialty screw store to get screws. Now I'm going to try to show you this. You may not be able to see it. So I can barely see it. There is Loctite on that screw. Manufacturers use Loctite so it doesn't come apart. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the two screws out on the bracket, on the input-output bracket. So there's two screws that are out. Then I'll go ahead and take my needle nose pliers, which there's probably a better tool for this. And all I'm doing is using the needle nose pliers to loosen. There's four of them. So I will loosen those and I just, you can take the rest of it out with just your hand. You can hear that sound, someone's cutting the grass outside my window, I can't do anything about it. Okay. Now I have all those out. There's only one more screw to take out to remove that plate. And that's a screw right here in the corner. So again, 
applying pressure down and then you spin it out and it comes right off. So that's what it looks like without the bracket. So that you keep what I you know I sell all my stuff after I use it a while. Uh, that's why I haven't got a divorce yet. And so uh, I try to keep keep all your screws together, don't lose any of them, try not to ruin anything. So if you do have to resell it, uh, you can make some money from it. Okay, here's the back. Let me go ahead and zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, let me go ahead and point at all the screws you need to get. Okay, here's one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13. 13 screws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 screws. I think I skipped that one. So 14 screws. There's also two screws under this little, uh, I think this is a uh, some kind of style or some kind of material so it doesn't touch the back of here if you put cards close together. So there's two more screws underneath there. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, put enough pressure that it's not going to, and I'm not having to use my uh, advantage tool here right, right yet. Usually what I like to do is you, you, loose, you loosen and take out all the screws, and you want to do it by diagonals. But I, I leave the CPU screws for the last. Actually, this card's going a little bit better than what my previous card. My previous card had too much Loctite on it, I think. Incidentally, all these screws are the same, except for the screws that hold the CPU down, which are these fours, or the, the heat sink for the CPU. All the rest are the same, so they're interchangeable. You don't have to keep them in special PALs. Okay, now to get to these, what I did for my previous cars, I just bent them. I just spun it through the the uh, that soft material there and you pull it right out you just push it to the side if you can see how I've done that I've just pushed it to the side and you start spinning it and you want to make sure it doesn't rip it so I should be able to put this back together and it look fairly normal. Okay, I now have all the screws out of it except for the four screws for the heat sink and I will take care of those now. Now these screws have uh, a spring on them. So it's supposed to hold them tight. Okay, all the screws are out. 